March 300 seconds of news from Gravesham Council. In a packed programme today, we'll start with an update on the town's historic market, which is closed while work goes on. Sarah Knight reports. Here is one of England's oldest charter markets and it's being restored in a major rejuvenation project. It will have a new brand picking up on one of its oldest architectural features. Here we are inside and with me is Simon Hookway from the council. Simon, what's going on and when's the market coming back? Well, this is the refurbishment works for the market building. Uh, there's quite an extensive lot of, lot of works in terms of redoing uh, the roof, putting in new roof lights, external works, inter interior redecoration and new stalls. And the works will be complete by hopefully November this year uh, for the run up to Christmas. Brilliant. So Christmas market, here we come. Christmas market, yep. So the work is being done by Contractors 15. Um, in charge today is Rick Adams. So Rick, what's the hardest part of working on a building like this? The hardest part would be making sure that the uh, public are in a safe environment at all times because as, as you can see we've got a fencing around the property. That is obviously A, to keep our building safe and B, to keep the public safe. So I, I would say the hardest part is keeping the public and obviously the council happy at all times. That's good because I can imagine people are quite excited about coming in to have a look about what's going on, are they? Yeah, very excited. We've had uh, the site manager Paul has had lots of people come into his office at the side there and uh, ask questions: when is it going to be finished? What are the plans for the council and things like that? So yeah, it's a very exciting time. Uh, we're currently looking for new traders for the new market, and we've been going out and about finding. Uh, expressions of interest. We've had about 50 or so to date and we'll continue to do that. We're looking for a mix of traders and we want to really make sure they're distinctive, uh, they reflect the local area, perhaps local producers and local craft makers, but just to get that right mix for the new market. The Mayor has been on his bike as Gravesham raised money for sport relief. He joined the staff at Sainsbury at Pepper Hill as people all over the borough did their bit for the national charity event. Here he is, pedalling away, hoping that both chains stay in place. Hundreds of children are getting ready to celebrate St George's Day in style again, as the town lays on its eighth annual parade to stage one of the biggest and best shows for our patron saint. This year's event is the day before the official date. It's on Friday the 22nd of April. We'll be there with coverage in new special editions of Gravesham 5 live. Local schools join the Mayor and the Deputy Lord Lieutenant of Kent to mark Commonwealth Day on a windy community square and then move into the warm for readings from all over the world. It also gave us our Whoops replay this month. Watch the flag on the left. And here it is again. Just the ups and downs of flag days, I guess. The Civic Centre had to be closed after a woman brought in this live hand grenade from her late father's collection. If you find something explosive, please leave it alone and call the police. Thank you. There's some breaking news. The council has won the lottery. The Heritage Lottery Fund has awarded £172,000 to restore the Victoria Clock Tower. We'll have more on this next month. Exclusive news now of the lineup for July's Riverside Festival. There will be two stages and events in the Fort Gardens with tribute acts to UB40, Justin Bieber and David Bowie. But topping the bill, will be bewitched and a welcome return for two of last year's panto stars Adele and Keevy Lynch. Here Keevy is joined by a, a little guy practicing his Irish dancing. Say la vie. See you next month.